about social media strategy. So in the last unit, we discussed social media channels and how they uh, can be used in different ways. Here we're going to talk specifically about the purposes to which you might use them and how to put that all together into a cohesive strategy. Uh, so there are a lot of different ways you could use social strategically, and it's important to think about them and potentially think about how you might do all of them together at once, right? Um, and so I'm going to go through some examples one by one of companies that have used social in these different ways. Uh, community building, which means kind of using social to allow your customers to interact with each other in a dynamic and exciting way. Uh, digital research, right? Using social to kind of monitor what your customers are saying, what people are saying about your competitors as well. Sales, right? Using social to directly try and sell a particular product or um, a service, right? Brand awareness, using social to build up brand awareness about your firm and what you're doing, sometimes for a new firm, sometimes for an old firm, but you want to make sure that people are aware that you do a certain thing or provide a certain service, right? Customer service, right? responding directly to complaints that customers might have. Uh, the informational content of social media, right? providing tools that people who are already your customers uh, can use to potentially um, understand the products and services they're buying, or maybe show them products and services that they have that you're not aware that they might uh, that they might not be aware about. Uh, and reputation management, right? Trying to monitor what people are saying about your firm, uh, what they're how they're discussing it, uh, and then reaching out and trying to alter that conversation in a positive way, right? Um, and SEO, right? Using social as a search engine optimization device to kind of push people towards uh, your website or your brand or other pieces of content that you might have created, right? So let's go through these one by one. So let's start with community building. Um, and community building, you're really faced with a question. Do you build a place or do you use a space, right? And what I mean by that is you can build your own social uh, media platform, right? So Nike Plus, Nike for instance, created Nike Plus. Nike Plus allows you to Create your account, link up with friends, share your runs, uh, you know, kind of discuss what's going on, uh, for instance, on there, um, and it kind of provides the ability for people to communicate. Now, there's nothing about Nike Plus that is necessarily directly selling a product. They, they have additional products that link up to it, right, like um, uh, various tools that record your distances and runs, uh, but, you know, there's nothing at Nike Plus that's really selling a product, it's more about building a community around the Nike brand and the Nike Plus brand, right? Um, they also, but so that, that's a place they built, but they also use a space. Uh, they have a Facebook uh, uh, page called the Nike Plus Run Club that's actually quite active and has conversations going back and forth uh, on, on different aspects of Nike Plus Run, right? Uh, and they encourage people to comment on it and to discuss what's going on there, right? Um, and so, um, you know, in some places it serves a little bit as a customer uh, service venue as well, uh, but it also allows people to feel like they're part of a community. Okay. So research and insights, and we discussed this a little bit when we talked about digital research, but obviously you can use a tool like Hootsuite, for instance, and some of their more advanced tools to kind of monitor the conversations that are happening around a particular topic. So. Uh, say your interest, this seems to be this particular screenshot from their website, is for the bread and coffee area, right? Uh, and so you can see the number of mentions and where they're happening, and you can highlight what parts of the country or what parts of the world they're happening in, the demographics of the individuals based upon the conversations. And you can see, is the conversation happening on Twitter or on message boards or on blogs or on Facebook, right? Um, and so you can monitor that in a very detailed sense. Uh, one thing I also really like is that you can monitor, for instance, particular topics. So this is another firm. It's a firm called Sprout Social, right? And they have a tool that allows you uh, to, to figure out what topics people are mentioning with reference to your brand. So uh, you can tell them to search for a brand, and then they'll cluster the topics as to what's going on. Uh, and here they have both topics, and they also have hashtags that get mentioned around those things, right? So... Um, this is a great example of how you can monitor the conversations that are going around on social and use that as a piece of insight that might help you better respond, right? So for instance, if someone's, if, if a certain uh, product problem is coming up again and again, that might be something you need to take action on. So sales and lead generation. Um, a 
lot of times social is better used to build community and build conversations, but there are ways to directly sell on social, and people have been using it quite successfully in that space. Uh, so, for instance, uh, this is a, a, a social campaign I've just been seeing recently, and it seemed intriguing. So I pull it up, right, which is on the Rings movie, which is, I assume, the single, a, a, a sequel to The Ring, right? Um, and you know it has they first of all paid for a promoted trend on Twitter so on the top trends on Twitter it's going to show up and then they have a number of promoted tweets as well and if you notice it says get your ticks right here right so you can click through immediately from the social media campaign uh, to buy your tickets and the video that plays by the way is like a little preview of the, of the content so this works very well for things that are kind of event oriented for instance um, and uh, creates a good way to do that. Um, now, you can also do product purchases, right? So this is Shutterfly, right? And uh, it's a mobile app, a mobile ad in this case, right? But they have an offer and they can share it on here. And what's interesting is people actually do comment quite a bit on these um, ads, on, on even though they're promoted content, right? They, they will discuss them and they'll like them and, and kind of comment on them. Uh, and so it provides a way for you to kind of do advertising but advertising that is actually commentable about, which makes, which is one of the reasons why social in some ways is different uh, than other forms of advertising. Okay. So brand awareness, right? And I think this is a great example, honestly. So you can use social to raise awareness about your brand uh, to an audience that might not have heard of, about a product or service that might not know about. This is a campaign that actually won some awards from PricewaterhouseCooper, right, uh, PwC, where, um, so apparently they are in charge of auditing um, the ballots for the Academy Awards, right, the Oscars, right? Uh, and they did, a, they did a, a cross-platform social media campaign to increase awareness that they were in charge of that, right, to, appeal, to make PwC kind of appeal to a younger generation, potentially appeal to a demographic that might not otherwise be paying attention to it. Um, and so on Twitter, they had tweets like first stop New York City at, you know, they have a picture of it and they tell you to add ballot briefcase on Snapchat to follow what's going on, right? Then a lot of the campaign was actually focused around Snapchat, which is interesting because Snapchat um, is, is, a, is a platform that a lot of firms want to break into, but they find it difficult because it's not as much of a broadcast platform, right? And so here you see the ballot briefcase being transported, right? And they have a little video story about it, right? Um, and then they also had an Instagram case. So here the, 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 um, the briefcase actually makes it to the Oscar Awards, right? And you have uh, some of the actors and actresses fighting over the ballot briefcase and, and things like that. In the end, by the way, this actual campaign was extraordinarily successful. It wound up with uh, almost over 136 more times more impressions on Twitter for PricewaterhouseCooper, right? That's a huge increase, you know, multiple orders of magnitude increase. And they showed strong gains on Instagram and Snapchat. Um, as I said, it wound up winning them uh, an award for their advertising campaign in this space um, and hopefully actually built some brand awareness. I'm going to pause here and we'll switch over to another video.